So there you go. It was going terribly, but through the power of using pheromones, I made him speak. <laughs> I know, it's terrible, isn't it? And that was definitely not a sword. I'm pretty certain you go placate and then defend. And the third one, I actually don't know. It may be redirect or it could be defend again. But it is what it is. And luckily, pheromones are there to back me up. Again, this is like completely optional stuff, but it is kind of nice to do. It's kind of neat. Some neat back history, backstory. You learn a thing or two. Is it this one? Nope, it's this one. Yep. Okay, so this guy who I helped out, David Seraph. Okay. So they're not my parents. My parents were not my actual parents. Yeah, okay. Yep. Cool. And then Athena, whatever. Okay. So there you go. You learn that Jensen's parents are not actually his Athena parents. Athena tells me you spoke to Seraph. Did he happen to tell you why he made us look like idiots? I'm handling it. You can imagine how relieved I am to hear that. I'll tell you what. While you follow any lead Seraph spoon feeds you, I'm going to do what I should have done in the first place and backtrace that signal. That's your pride, dogging. Still, get back to me if you find something. You meant when? Pretty sure I didn't. <laughs> so yep that's that and I mean there's not like a lot of conversation changes I don't think he talks to to Seraph any differently it's not like he has a heart to heart like oh that was terrible you shouldn't have done that or my parents aren't my parents it's just you know it's something for the player to learn and yep that's about it for that Seraph oh Seraph here, this is for you. It's a corporate passport encoded with your biometrics. I've set up a false flag routing which should get you to Henshaw Island without any problems. You're sending me to China? What about FEMA? FEMA's got nothing to do with this, trust me. We'll have better luck in China. How can you say that? I saw the bastard who killed Megan pulling his men out of that facility. I left one of those men dead in its underground storage bay. I know that, Adam. Frank was monitoring the whole thing. So I also know that before he died, that man gave you an address in China. I want you to check it out. That doesn't make any sense. Look, Adam. There's a reason this company's under attack. You think it has to do with the typhoon or with some other top secret military project that I haven't told you about? The thought had crossed my mind. Yeah, well, it doesn't. The work Megan's team was doing before they were killed, it was redefining what it means to be human. This company. Seraph Industries was about to lead mankind to its next stage in human development. Self-controlled evolution. Can't you see how scary that can be to some people? Sure. I also see how lucrative it can be for some others. It's never been about money for me, Adam. But you're right. There are people out there who don't exactly feel the same. Like who? I'm hoping you'll be able to find that answer for us in China. So get going. Farida's prepping the chopper. So if you're wondering, he actually is relatively honest about that. I mean, I won't say it's entirely not about the money, but you'll notice he has a right hand that is, you know, augmented. He also has a baseball. You'll see some other baseball things somewhere. He really liked baseball, but he, uh, I don't know how he lost his hand. I don't know the whole story behind, behind that, but he did, and that's why he... He started this whole business and got into it, if I recall. So he truly does want more. But the thing is that Neuropazine does handicap him, no pun intended, when it comes to, to living life and others who will want to be augmented in order to continue their lives in a somewhat normal manner. So that is the downside of the whole augmentation bit. And... Uh, Though Adam doesn't realize that he is part of the answer right now. I will not be accompanying Mr. Steiger to the Me being vague yet specific. I must head to Utah instead. To the rehabilitation center? Does Mr. Taggart know this, sir? Of course he does. 
I would not be leaving if it were not a medical emergency. Of course, I understand. I, I can't imagine what it must be like to willingly give up an implanted limb. Please, make sure Mr. Taggart is up to date itinerary-wise, and I will rendezvous with you later this week. Understood, sir. Holy... They spelled rendezvous right. I mean, I never spell it right, either. You're Taggart's aide, aren't you? Dr. Isaiah Sandoval, isn't it? No need to play ignorant, Mr. Jensen. I am quite sure you have a file on me that's as thick as the one you have on Mr. Taggart. You're an outspoken activist in your own right, Dr. Sandoval. When you have seen the things that I have, you find you have no choice but to stand up and be counted. Frankly, I am surprised an ex-cop like yourself isn't more disturbed by the dangers of this technology. Augmentations help a lot of people, Doc. Handicapped, war vets. Yes, but at what cost? My own friend had his life ruined by these so-called enhancements of yours. His brother. A man much like you who had no choice but to become augmented. Yet, once he was, too much power can make you do terrible things, Mr. Jensen. I suggest you think long and hard on that. I'd like to hear more about your friend, Dr. Sandoval. What exactly did he do? Nothing. Was he injured in the Gulf? He went on a rampage in a shopping mall, if you must know, hoping to be gunned down by the police rather than face a lifetime battling augmentation addiction. He was addicted to augments? They don't talk about it in those corporate brochures of yours, do they? Neuropos independency, rejection psychosis, any number of physical and psychological ills have resulted from this technology, and yet we rarely hear a word about them. I'm sure the literature is out there. No thanks to the throng of corporate lawyers attempting to stop it. Your friend, did he succeed? Did he suicide by cop? No. Bill Taggart talked him down. I can't remember if it... I have a feeling it is his brother, but I actually can't remember if it is or isn't, honestly. Well, let's go over here and head over to... Hey, Jensen. China. The boss said you were on your way. You're gonna love Hangsha. You've been there? Used to live there. I spent three, maybe four years working in the upper city, and most of my nights having fun in the lower one. You ready to go? I thought I was. How long is this gonna take, Malik? You mean the flight or the fun afterward? Don't worry, we'll be there before you know it. Climb in. And we're off to see the wizard. Now, if you're wondering why I'm still going, I'm actually uh, testing out the limits of my computer. I recently cleared a bunch of files. Um, again, if you don't know, I use Frap, so when I do record, it does take up a chunk of memory. I'm talking hundreds of gigs. Well, 100 gigs after like an hour, and then probably 150 now that we're in the hour 30 area for the session, that is. So I'm trying out getting to two hours. And again, I'm speaking over this a little bit so that the music doesn't trigger any sort of recognition in YouTube's third party. Jensen, you might want to get ready. The jewel of the Yangtze approaches. Haha, Excelsior. Son of a bitch. I'm supposed to find answers in that. Hey, twice the scum and half the space. Hang on, we're going in. See, that would be kind of neat to see. The but address you got off that Merc, Hangsha Court Gardens. It's a bit of a walk from here in the Yuzhou district, but I figured it might be best not to drop you too close. In case Barrett only gave up the address, knowing I'd walk into another trap. It's the kind of thing I'd do to an enemy. You want my advice? Just find out who lives there and get out. But yeah, if you look at it from this angle, it says booby. Yep, I know. Funny, huh? Uh, that's hilarious. So, yeah, now this would be kind of neat to see, but then part of me would not want to go here at all just because of the trouble. So, well, let's actually run around a little bit. Still got some time to do whatever. Hello, civilian. Hey, American. Go Yankees. You want good time? Go to the hive. You want better time? Find a Honghua. Beautifulest women in Hangsha. I've never heard of the beautifulest, but I mean, by all means. Hey, do I have a stun gun? I think I have a stun gun. May as well pick it up if I do. Yeah, I do. I mean, I don't know why I have it again. I'm 
kind of just wasting space. But why not? Actually, let's equip it, just in case I need to put somebody down real quick. Let's see, is there anything over here? Eh, no? Yeah. Tai Young Medical. You could be naked and hug one another with your metallic arm. Yay. Joy. That's what brings a smile to my face, much like those two young fellows there. What's down here? I'm going to try to do the uh, optional stuff before I do anything in-depth, like any of the m main mission stuff. They're around here somewhere. I may forget one or two. That is alright. And we do come back later. But it does become more difficult because there are guards everywhere who will attempt to stop you no matter what you do. Let's see anything over here? No. I mean, you can open these, but I'm not so worried about that right now. Just doing some exploration. Um, if I if I do cut it off relatively soon, I will go about getting to the nearest side mission so that we can do that. And then I'll re resume recording at that point. Let's see anything over here. You can go in these back rooms. They sometimes have stuff. Machine pistol ammo that I'm not going to use, probably. But they are good places to hide and have ready in the future. Yeah. Here, 10 millimeter pistol ammo. I can always use that. Anything over here? But yeah, again, this would be kind of neat to visit. But I don't know if I'd be inclined to live here. As I've said for the third time. Jeez. If you're wondering why I want to bring the recording session to a close, it is because I'm starting to draw a blank. I'm starting to repeat things as everybody has noticed. And I'm, I'm just running out of things to say, honestly. Nope, nothing down there. Nothing be done there. Hello, cop. We as a species stepped up to make things better. Excuse me, Our sir. best chance of Do you doing this is to modify our ocean temperatures through a combination sure, of gorgeous. iron seeding you have to and take geothermal a train. management. But you know you can't get into the building without an access card. Let's actually visit the limb clinic. Why not? Let us go in here. I think there actually is a mission in here when I think about it. Let us see. <sighs> That guy important? Nope. It could be a mission from, from later. I could be wrong. You speak English? No. Nope, I got them elsewhere. Let's talk to her then. Lim International welcomes you. You are preferred client? Select what you want from computer. Ah, oh, let's see, what do you have? Typhoon ammo, a Praxis kit that I don't need. Well, I may buy the jar, but... Yeah. Does it show how many I have now? Or is that... Yeah, well, I'll take one just in case. You're very welcome, sir. Very welcome. Alright. So if you're wondering, I will be splitting these videos up into 20 minute video videos. Well, thereabouts. I mean, I try to set them up in where, like, it doesn't cut off a sentence or anything of the sort. So, well, as I said, I mean, I'm confident I can do it now, but I am kind of new to it still. I can move that. Well, I can use it. Ah, it? Oh, look at this. Tim announces new cash stimulus for Pangu. All right, cool. Let's see. Missing. This chick. I think uh, I think whoever put this missing sign up actually drew her face. I'm pretty certain that's a drawing. What's over here? Or is this where? I, oh, the hive. Oh, let's go to the hive. The hive is always fun to visit. If I can go to it. Not that way. Well, nope. I can't go to it yet. It may not let me go until I do the mission. That is. Uh, let's jump. Oh, wrong thing. Entry to Yu Zhao Yao Zhu. 
I was not paying attention when she pronounced it. Oh, here we are. Train. Oh, there we go. On to the next area. Woo, all right. But yeah, if there's anything, I mean, I've extended this offer in, in Dark Souls, and it's a little bit more limited here, but if there's anything you want me to try out or do, or just experiment with, by all means, bring it up. I'll give it a shot. If it doesn't work out, well, that's terrible. If it does, excellent. Okay, I'm sorry. And yay, we're in the new area. Well, the next area. Bell Tower is conducting an investigation in this building, sir. No admittance. Okay, can't go through there quite yet. Malik, you might have been right about that trap. Hengsha Court Garden is under lockdown by Bell Tower Associates. Bell Tower? They're the police in Lower Hengsha, Jensen. They're under contract with the Chinese government. You think the Chinese... I won't know anything until I get inside that penthouse. Bell Tower's got the whole apartment complex care. locked down. Hello? Nobody knows. Who is it? So I'm pretty certain you can go up this way and you'll get in, or you can go through that way to get in. Let's go up this way real quick. Whoop. Parkour Jensen, the most amazing of Jensen's. If anyone crosses this perimeter, give them one warning. If they ignore you, start shooting. We can't risk infiltration. Do I give my warning in English? What kind of question is that? Whatever the fuck language you want. <laughs> Whoop. Yeah, may as well just use it, whatever. I mean, it's level one. But I'm feeling lazy. Oh, let's open this up. So here's the, an example of the other roundabout ways to get into stuff. This may not lead where exactly where I'm supposed to go, but it is, you know possibly helpful. It may. I honestly don't remember. Hangshaw is actually one of those places I, I thoroughly enjoyed going to. I mean, Detroit is still nice, but, I mean, which may sound silly. It is nice, but it's relatively simple. Instead, well, wait. Can I jump up that? Yeah. But Hangshaw was always, it felt a little bit more sprawled. I guess that would be the word for it. A little bit more sprawling. And for whatever reason, that made it a little bit more fun. You can go, go, you can, yeah. I feel like I'm starting to stutter now. You can go in all sorts of different areas. See all sorts of neat things. So there's nobody over here yet. So I'll actually call it an end over here. Let's go back this way. I'll save it in here so I have an idea where I am. Thank you everybody for watching. This is Doom Jester signing off. I hope to see you in the next videos and make sure you all have a good day. Alfidasin.